Hi there guys and welcome to another Train Sim 2020 video. Today we are uh, taking a drive with a workshop scenario of all things in the 460. I've been desperate to have something in the 460 for a long, long time uh, since I've been using the combined traction brake controllers. Um, and Chris Orsfield has had a little comeback to Train Sim and he's redone the destination textures for this, which is wonderful. So I thought, I'm going to find a scenario. And I looked and I looked and I looked and I couldn't find any. I found a couple of quite decent looking ones on Workshop. Now, barring some of the AI will be a lot of the older stuff, all the stuff you can still get on Steam. I thought this was quite a good way of showing off also what is available out there um, Steam Workshop wise. So it means people aren't always needing to buy the AP stuff and people go, well, oh, I don't have much money so I can't buy this. That's fine. This is the sort of scenario you can do with I was going to say not a lot of content, but I bet there is quite a lot in this anyway still, so we'll get looking. Also, thing to note, um, I have broken my wrist, I've got a broken scaphoid, and a bone in the back of my hand I've broken as well, so I've had to move things about a bit to try and be able so I can use it without hurting my hand even more. If you see me buckling over the keyboard, it's because I can't just do shift and that with this hand like I used to be able to. I've got very limited movement in these two fingers, and not too bad in those. Uh, so just so you know. Right, okay. Let's get started. So, I want my master key on, please. And then, enter neutral. Cancel my AWS. I want to enter my driver's number, which is always just 12345 F1. And uh, what is it? 0091 for. Um, Gatwick, Toro TSN, yeah, 0091. Let's uh, get the doors open as well. Oh, I'll just push that off the side there. 0091, F2 that, and then we're 1 Alpha 28, were we? So with our GSMR, we were 1 Alpha. Two, eight, and our starting signal five oh seven from here. Five zero seven, enter. Okay, cool. That's our announcements going off in the saloon, so we know we're good. Let's get our headlights, our uh, instrument lights onto dim, uh, onto bright, and then our headlights onto day. Right, uh, DSD isolation. Do I bother with that, or do I change the PVC controller to give me... Let's change, right. So what I can do, I don't know if you guys will actually get to... You guys won't get to see this. Um, is the door control panel. Uh, has the guards buzzer at the bottom here. I can change that out from the moment it's doing doors and guards buzzer. I can now change that out to be DSD. Um, I don't know if I'll do it with this journey. We'll see. We'll see. It's set to DSD as it is, actually. Now it's on guards buzzer. Now it's on DSD. Right, are we all good? Let's go forward. Uh, let's get our DR range off. That's one bit the software we're still trying to nail, is some trains start with DRA on, some trains start with it on, but isolated until the AWS comes on. It's just a bit fiddly to get it to work completely through the right way. Right, now we're moving. Let's put that to uh, DSD. We've got 20 minutes apart in here, haven't we?
love the way it says that. So what you don't see is you click speed set, it says disconnected on the top right here. Um, a lot of the speed sets that were put into trains uh, were things that were never used by TOCs themselves. There's nothing in the RSSB that says you can't use them. Um, Southern, I know don't use them for the 377s or anything like that either. Um, 365s, Great Northern used them, 91s they used them, Azumas they use them, uh, the new 755s is basically how you drive them. Uh, so it's quite interesting who still uses it and doesn't. So I couldn't actually tell you what the last destinations were like and Chris won't mind me saying that, so as long as he's done what he thinks look good, I am happy. yellow already I've got to try to be really ahead because of course I haven't got a wrist to do this at the minute and people think oh I'll be easier on the keyboard it's actually worse on the keyboard than it is over this so I'd rather use this and uh, be comfortable than using the keyboard and uncomfortable And this scenario is actually called Weekend Diversion. Is this the Weekend Diversion one that I do? Yes, this one is called Weekend Diversions. So I'm just going to move the mic so you don't hear me hitting that. Let's pull you a little closer so I know you're uh, loud enough. My last single was definitely single yellow, so. Looks like we're good. So this means we're going to be diverted via Hearn Hill and all that lot. Let the speed tail off, just coming up to that 20 there. It might need a bit of a helping hand, but that gradient's going to help us a lot. Single yellow with a feather. It's always handy. It's like we're being looped. So the 460, we've had it a while in Trainsim now. Um, it is still, to me, probably the one of the best trains to drive in Train Simulator. Without fail. I adore it. We've got a single yellow. Physics, the sounds, the systems you can operate in this thing are unreal. There's those little quirks, like you can make it, say, uh, London Gatwick via New York and 
or uh, New York via Gatwick, all sorts of things with a TMS. Uh, it was, I think, it was the first to do a motor bogey uh, sound view. That was also a nice one. It did, unfortunately, have a sound bug with it, which sometimes does happen, uh, where the sounds get out of sync. Um, but saying that, I haven't had that in quite a while, so maybe it was sorted. Actually, stop a little gap. Where can we? Nice busy scenario actually, I didn't look who this was by. I'm enjoying it. This is going to get a definite, definite thumbs up at the end for this one. What are we on? The single with a feather again. Wow, there's a surprise with 20 coming up just as I've sped up a bit too much there. Keep showing your toes. Ah, uh, the old three one nine. go too fast because I've got another 15 coming up at the end of this and I have no idea what our signal was caution of some kind I think it was a flashing single yellow flashing single yellow diversionary wasn't it AWS magnet giving me nothing didn't really help. This one will though. And this red. <laughs> Wanna get network grey on the side of that one out, look, that tree's hanging in the way. Neutral. Ah, DRA off and forwards. South London driving this, isn't it?
gonna get some speed up at some point here. We've got a green. We can at least get to 45. One of the uh, greatest things about this one, of course, is um, the washer jet. Because what this actually gets is uh, flies on the windscreen when we get going, we'll see them. down to 15 again there, that's great. Another toot the horn just to warn anybody near the track, in the tunnel. Again, we should be able to get some speed up. Well, we're literally 15 on this line all the way into Straight and Common. Oh, so we're getting stopped anyway before that, by the looks of it. Oh, that might not be our signal, actually. Doubt it. Too far away. Life is a roller coaster. Why? To all the songs that roller coaster in it, go for that one. That was weird, wasn't it? A ping! He come down that hill in step one didn't hold it, it's 15 mile an hour, it's quite cool. It's quite weird coming out of these weird ways at the back of the London Brighton route because I still don't know them. And then when you've got like our Danny Leach's merge routes that have got like the South London Brighton in them, the the South London Kent Faversham and Dover, I no idea. My geography gets completely lost.
They were, in my mind, very good looking units. And I mean, uh, we know they. Uh, oh, we've got some engineering going on here. Oh, that's quite cool. See, this is the difference in workshop scenarios and paid for scenarios. You could have like those with network rail J and A's on there, and maybe a few little other bits and pieces added. Um, yeah, four sixties. They served the purpose really well, really, really well. I just wish it was uh, there were more viable than they were. They were built specifically to do the Gatwick Express duties. Not like any stock we've had since. Do you know what I mean? You get a lot of people who... Uh, see, that's the first time I've used the DSD. And that's on the box down here, by the way. Um, people, you, you think people would be all nostalgic for the 73s and Mark IIs. I don't really know anybody that is... Well, they are, some are. But most people I know go bring back the 460s. It's weird. It's freight stuff you let down with and the with the with the workshop stuff. run at double yellows yeah they were, they were very very good at what they did and don't get me wrong as much as I like 442's love love a pig a plastic pig but um, I think I prefer the 460's now I know you've still got them in the 458 sub, different subclasses with the front ends and all of that but it's that sort of Darth Vadery front that I really like looked very different to anything else we had on the on the network at the time. It still would if it was out now. A lot of trains still do and still and did look very much like the 455s, very flat fronted. I mean we can all tell the if you're a bit of a train enthusiast you can tell the subtleties between the difference between a 150 and a 156. Um, but to the general public you can't and you can't tell the difference between a 90 and a 91. Whereas you knew that this was Gatwick Express because it was ridiculous looking at the front end. <laughs> it literally was ridiculous looking. It didn't really look like a train, did it? Another sort of archetypal features you think of a train, like buffers or a coupling or anything like that, even horns to be seen. I might actually redo this scenario for my personal users, obviously, uh, with the AP stuff. Make it fully AP'd. Oh, 
Sorry, Mr. 319. We've got priority. Down 25, I needed to be at there. Four five five wants a race. He got a head start as well. We won't catch up though. Not for only allowed to do forty five. I had in my head it was like ninety from here on out, but Oh, another 460. Give our driver a wave there. Where for the Gallic Express Massive. This is a great run to keep you on your toes with the 460, and one that you can sort of, you learn your braking right, you learn your acceleration right. I mean, it's just so limited. That's the big downside with it, is it just, it only ran on the Gatwick Express runs. It didn't run anywhere else. I mean, not like even that I can think of specials, or, or if you guys know any rail tools or specials that did, let me know. I'd love to have seen these, I know there's gauging issues and all sorts of things, but I'd love to have seen these um, taken out service, actually fitted with a pantograph that they've got the pantograph well for, and uh, seen them doing the Stanson Expresses.
I think the juniper fleet themselves, I mean, that was what, these were Alstom junipers. There's, a lot of them started off as very un, not unreliable and then became very reliable. But there was a lot of new sort of technology at the time that was being packed into these. And some of it was just a bit mad. I mean, like, especially like the 180 of Nice Nice but it was the same sort of thing. Like, um, PA button on that didn't actually didn't actually light up. Just like this one, it does go on. I actually get to go into the siding as well. Oh no, that's cool. I like this scenario. Really like this scenario. It's available on Steam Workshop and it is called Class 460 Weekend Diversion. Some passenger view in the MKS stuff as well, wouldn't it? That grind, that wheel grind noise. still rather be in the cab. We had a moment to drive with the PBC right up against this metal bar that's in the bottom of my splint because I can't actually push it with my wrist down <laughs> see if I push it. So I've got to keep it right up against that and just keep those two fingers at the top clamped around it. You're 33 years old and falling off your bike. How bad does that get? I'm not an amateur cyclist either. I've been riding for years and years and years. From trials when I was much younger to downhill to uh, just sort of country riding now, but trails more than anything. 
And this, I didn't go to the shop. Just ridiculous. Coming up just outside Gatwick there. Double yellows go with it. Which means we could be held at the moment. We are going to be held outside Gatwick. Open, I might get the road. Yes, that was out of the way. Just in time, didn't have to stop and pull away. Which I don't actually mind doing these days, but I'm just getting into the habit of doing pulling into neutral and DRA on. Twenty-eight. We were due in. We're going to get in forty-two fifty. So we were a bit late there. And the show's not over yet. We're going to have to get this into the side as well. I think actually there's a door open button for this actually. Yeah. So we can go have a walk around now. 
think we do actually have some uh, bits to check We're back on the train. I think we've got to change. Yeah. So, oh. No, clear. It is zero. No, no. Turn to my menu. F2. Zero. Nine. which give us empty to depot, perfect and then deregister our GSMR register that as 5 alpha 28 uh, 247 Go. Let's get our doors closed. We are registered. Empty depot. We still have the red. What we've got interlock now. I'll try a tab just because it's yeah. A shunty signal. Right, okay. Check we are routed correctly as well. What have we not done? Got into lock. DRA is off. We're in forward. Why won't my brakes come off? Didn't open the other doors by accident. Oh, a little bit of fault finding, I like this. You know what to do. If it doesn't work, turn it off and back on again. Fault showing. That one's cleared. Ah, it is my cab door interlock. Should be good now. Yay! See, I like a bit of train that you actually can do some sort of real world fault finding in. Love it. Uh, what were we? Sorry, I didn't do GSMR. And I was all being proper there. Uh, it was 5 alpha 2 8. It was 2 4 7.
let's use this stop point as a decent screenshot actually. I'm gonna have to be quick with the, the keys, but uh, let's try it out. Nah, not sure about that one. We'll see what you get on the video. But anyway, guys, that was a lovely little run. Thank you ever made that on Workshop. Much appreciate that. Um, oh, shut down the cab accordingly. Um, it does just go to show that Workshop does contain a few little gems along the lines. So if you sort of... Um, do think our oh, Workshop's a waste of time, sometimes you will find a little gem on there. And this is one of them. So, all right, guys, thank you very, very much for joining. Please feel like, share, and subscribe. Head over to untopthesim.com for all your up-to-date latest trends of needs. And head over to the Facebook group and Twitch on a Sunday and Wednesday from 7 p.m. for some more adult-themed pub-style chats about trains. Once again, guys, thanks ever so much. Catch you next time.